Hello, everyone. So today we are going to discuss the the iterators in in index as a as a, a second uh, step uh, for learning the DEX because last time we have seen the the uh, the aggregation function which apply on on the table level. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the the iterators. They they normally call iterators because they apply the operation on each row level and then uh, you're going to see the 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 uh, the uh, the uh, aggregation uh, as a as a collection of of the the contribution coming from each row uh, that that's why they call iterators because they iterate on each row in the in the data set right but then uh, beside that we have uh, another uh, great feature with these iterator that it allows you to filter because obviously if the data set is quite large you can imagine that it's going to impact on the performance so so in that case it will uh, it will allow you to filter uh, filter the uh, the the data based on the criteria that you want to provide and then it addressed those criteria and uh, during the during the uh, iteration and only use those which are uh, uh, those rows which are addressing the the filter criteria and, and like you can see on your screen uh, the the uh, uh, the indicator of, of of these function that always end with x so for example if we have the aggregation function as sum so the iterator function is gonna uh, be the sum x right and the same way we have the average x and we have the mean x and then we have the uh, max uh, uh, max x right so we're gonna see how it works in the in the power bi so let's jump into the into the demo and see the the implementation let me share my screen i'm just going to go back into my demo environment So what we are going to do uh, now, let's first look at the, the total same amount, which is very simple. Like you can see what we are uh, trying to do in here. We are uh, multiplying the order quantity with the unit price because we want to see the sum that, okay, how much uh, total sale amount we are getting. And obviously the, the sale amount is always the, the multiplication of the total number of items which the client has ordered multiplied by the unit price, right? So because the, that multiplication will give us the, the, uh, the sale amount of each item. And if we sum them up, that will uh, give us the, the, the total sum, right? Now, one of the difference in here in the sum X, that before we need to uh, add uh, the, the, the total amount, we need to multiply the, the order quantity by, by the, uh, the unit price, right? And it should happen on each row level. That's where the, the iteration concept comes into the picture that it goes each and every row. It multiply the quantity with the unit and at the end, it will just, you know, add them up. So that, that that's the whole concept. And like I mentioned, you can, open the, the window and let me see if I can increase. Yeah, we can increase the size so you can see it's pretty simple. The function is almost the same. The only difference is going to have X at the end. And then obviously it asks you the table name, right? So the syntax is going to be, uh, I think I need to, sorry. We have, as soon as you enter, it compiles it. So I might need to, yeah, that, that's a better one. All right, and let me see if I can. I don't think so. How about this? I always forget which one is the. Is that the one? No, I don't think so. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you the syntax in the in the simple terms. Just let me open more pad so. Obviously, it's the measure. So the syntax will be measure is going to be whatever the function name, iterator. And that will require the, the table name first. I'm just putting a generic table name. And then we need to provide the, obviously, the expression. So then that's the that's the uh, the the uh, the uh, that's the 
syntax, uh, the simple syntax. So you can see in in if we just uh, map the the actual one on on this syntax. So we obviously total sale name is the Mayer uh, name, and then we are uh, using some X, and then obviously we have the sales uh, depth TBL reseller sale. We have already seen it. If you don't understand, please uh, watch the the data model video where I have explained the whole concept. And then what we are going to in the expression, we are multiplying two attribute of that table, which is obviously order quantity and and the 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 unit sale. Uh, sorry, unit price, right? So these will be multiplied. These two fields will be multiplied, and whatever uh, is going to be uh, the result at each row at the end, that's going to be sum up uh, and will show uh, will return uh, into into this my year right so that that that's how uh, we use the 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 um, iterators now let me just put it back and i'm just going to show it to you uh let me just take four out right so what i'm going to i think that's the one yeah total sale amount so you're gonna see we have 81 million, right? So that that's the that's the total amount. By the way, you can see the similar amount in in here. The only difference is here it is coming without round, rounding, but in here you can see the values coming as a round. Just in case if you want to display the decimal point. So what we can do, we have the data label and we can open it up and then we can see the values. Yeah and we are going to display so you can see the decimal uh, value decimal places is auto we are going to increase it to two digits right so as soon as we have increased it you can see 80.98 now up to this point 80.9 the first digit is is matching 100 percent but the next one is a nine eight because seven eight has been rounded to the second digit is going to be 80.98 so that that's the concept right so that that's how we, we use the iterator all right so now coming to to the next one which is obviously let me just click and let, i want to show it to you on this one this one right here how we apply the filter right so for example if my table is quite big and i don't want to you know I don't want to uh, apply my iterator on each row. So then we have the capability that we can, you know, apply apply the the filter first, and then we uh, apply the 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 function. So now the syntax will be, yeah, I think that's better. Let me just show you now the syntax. So. Now, if I if I just you know go and you know just apply that function, so now the syntax will be filtered, and then obviously we have the filter condition, right? Because without that, there is no point of applying filter, right? So that will be that will be the uh, the, uh, the 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 syntax if we want to in, uh, use the the iterator with with the with the filter criteria right so you can easily see now it's pretty simple so we just need to to uh now instead of you know uh just uh specifying the the table name we first need to uh, specify the filter plot because we are going to filter and then we are going to we are going to uh apply the filter condition so now coming back to our actual uh example in now, what we are going to do in the previous one, we haven't actually looked at the, the quantity, but now we are only calculating the sum of those order where the quantity is greater than one, where person has uh, ordered multiple items, right? So these are different uh, sort of analysis we can uh, see that we want to see, okay, well, how much uh, 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 sale uh, we are getting from, from the uh, from the uh, the multi item sales or how much we are getting from the single item sales you know that that that's where we we find out the trends and then we start improving that if person is only uh, uh, ordering uh, one item is there any particular reason why is not ordering multiple item because that 
if we encourage these people who are ordering one item to multiple item you can see it's going to boost the sale right so let's see if we so uh, if we want to see how uh, what's the what's the total sale if we just you know uh, get the 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 amount where the order quantity is greater than one right which obviously shows that the person has ordered multiple items so you can see in here we have added the filter criteria. So you, uh, one point you need to notice that we have now nest the function. So the first function is the iterator itself. And then in the in the iterator function, we have another function called filter. Filter actually used to, to filter the row, right? We're going to actually use this function uh, a lot. So be, uh, be uh, mindful that you are clear what's the concept of using filtering. Obviously, once we move towards the advanced text uh, now, so obviously the first thing you can see is the table name. We are applying this filter function on the TBL, depth TBL uh, reseller sale. And then like I mentioned in the syntax, the very next thing is the condition. So in that condition, what, what I have done, I have used the order quantity and I have uh, put the condition that if the order quantity is greater than one, uh, then only consider those rows, right? And what uh, 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 this uh, uh, function will do, it will just uh, trim the, the result set. And then uh, based on that trimmed result set, it's going to actually apply that, uh, that uh, uh, expression that we have uh, mentioned uh, uh, previously, right? So that, that's how. So we are just uh, multiplying order quantity with unit price, right? So let me enter it all good because I can't see any error. And now what I'm going to do, I'm now going to bring it to uh, to the same uh, tile to see the difference. What's the what's the gap between the total sale and and the 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 sale with multiple item? So if I click in in here, so you can see we have seventy three point six. And by the way, I have used the same in in here. So you can see we have 73.69. So it is matching because once it round, it's less than five. So it didn't actually increase the, 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 the value, right? So the values are matching. I just put that table in here with the product name. So you, we can see the breakdown in, in here, right? But now you can see anyone, we can put side by side both uh, bars. So we can see, you know, the difference of one. We have a narrow gap. So it's not like we, uh, we have, uh, a uh, large item which are only ordered uh, where large number of customer or only order one item but you know if that gap is is wider between these two two lines so that means we might need to look into it so that that's all about you know using the uh, using the uh, dex uh, iterator expression very very important and very very uh, uh, helpful in 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 building the 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 professional dashboards in 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 power bi and now like i mentioned in every video we're going to actually translate back into into our sql so we're going to take the similar thing and we're going to actually apply in our sql so you can translate dex back into 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 sql so let me let me go into into my sequence so the, the the sequence statement will be simple because in the summing uh, impression what we're going to do we're going to actually apply the same impression right so the the, the, uh, the uh, same expression in this case we are multiplying the order quantity by unit price and then apply uh, the, the the aggregation the sequel is smart it's not going to actually uh, apply the apply the function before you know uh, calculating the expression which is really awesome in 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 uh, in sql side right so let's run it and you're going to see the exact total so we can see we have 89 80 uh, 8097810404 uh, which is obviously 8. Point, uh, 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 8 point, uh, 18, I think million, let me see, is it the same amount? Yeah, 80.98 million. And how we can check it, let me do that quickly. So I'm just going to divide 1,000, 10,000, and 10,000, and million. All right, so let's see what we're gonna get. So you can see exactly we are getting. So I've just converted into into millions. So the amount was coming as a as a uh, as a numerical value. So just to matching with with the Power BI DAX expression, I converted it into into million. Similar way now. 
index we have the filter but in our our uh, sql envi uh, environment or sql syntax we have the where clause right so what we're going to do we're going to actually uh, uh, put the where clause where clause is going to filter the uh, the rows and then whatever rows we're going to get uh, after that filtration sql uh, uh, will apply the 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 sum on the expression that we have uh, have added into into that sum right so now Similar thing in, in here, I'm just going to divide it by million so we can see the exact amount. And voila, we have 73.69, which is exactly the, the same uh, amount which we are getting as part of our text expression. So that, that's how we, we, we can translate our, our uh, DAX back into, into, into SQL. So hopefully in this video, we will uh, cover the, the iterator expression, uh, which has been used in Power BI, as well as the, the, the translation of DAX into the SQL. Uh, uh, and uh, hopefully it will be uh, clear and, and easy to understand, but feel free to uh, post any comment or question if you have more than happy to answer. Otherwise like the video and I'm gonna actually see you in the in the next one thanks for watching